Agoracom Talks, your weekly go-to source for the best small cap headlines. Well, for over 65 million investors since 2007. Today, we're jumping right in a, a rapid deep dive into some really high impact corporate news making waves. Our mission, simple, quickly pull out the key insights, give you that edge on some compelling small cap action. Absolutely, and what's fascinating you know, is how diverse these announcements are, but they all point to pretty significant strategic moves. Uh, impressive results too. We're not just looking at the what, but really the why it matters for you. Okay, let's get started. First headline, FTI Food Tech, that's FTI on the TSXV, their big news. FTI Food Tech ventures into men's grooming with German razor giant Merker razors. Now, this is well, it's a bit of a surprise, right? A food tech company. Mm -hmm. What's the real strategy here beyond just, you know, tapping a booming market? It is unexpected, yeah. But uh, look closer. The men's grooming market, we're talking $10.5 billion this year, 2024. And it's projected to hit, what, $14.2 billion by 2033. That's serious growth. Okay, big numbers. Exactly. And this noble men brand they're launching. It's a subscription service. Mm. Think recurring revenue potential. Ah, okay. Leveraging their platform. Precisely. They likely have the e-commerce backend, mm -hmm. maybe operational experience for food delivery, mm -hmm. and they're applying it to this adjacent, possibly high margin market. Yeah. Plus, partnering with a giant like Merker Razors. That wow. gives them instant brand credibility, a premium entry. Right, it's the ground running. Interesting pivot. Okay, switching gears completely now. Let's dig deep. Literally, longer goal. They've announced high-grade goal intersections and a deep drilling program at Adumbi. Specifically, they're quoting drill hole LABD030. It intercepted a 6.61 meters, grading 4.56 grams per metric ton gold, and that includes a richer zone. 5.61 meters, grading 5.24 grams per ton, all deep, around 643 meters vertical depth. So unpack those numbers. What's the significance for investors? Okay, those grades, especially 4.56 grams per ton, are considered very high grade, particularly at that depth. It means more gold packed into each ton of rock you mine, which is, well, crucial for making deep mining economic. Finding this at 643 meters, that strongly reinforces the potential for more gold underground. It suggests the deposit goes deeper than their current 3.66 million ounce resource estimate. So potentially adding significant long-term value, extending the mine life. Exactly. It really strengthens the project's outlook. It's right. not just confirming, it's potentially expanding the resource base significantly. Got it. Okay. From gold to energy storage, HPQ, Silicon, HPQ on the TS, XV, their news launching Indara, a brand ready to disrupt North America's energy storage market. Hmm. Sounds ambitious. A leap from R&D to commercial product, what's their edge? Well, the market itself is huge. The specific battery sizes, the 18650 and 21700 formats, mm -hmm. that market was almost $16 billion in 2024. Mm -hmm. And it's projected to soar past $45 billion by 2033. Wow. So HPQ's Indura batteries are aiming to disrupt the performance. So they're positioning Endura for high demand uses where performance and cycle life really matter. Interesting play. Okay, next up, Dragonfly. Big news here. A major sale to a Fortune 50 telecom company for emergency drone deployment. Drones moving into critical disaster recovery. What does this deal signify? It's a massive validation. It's yeah. just UAV tech moving beyond niche roles into um, essential infrastructure support. We're talking Dragonfly's heavy lift drone systems. These aren't small camera drones. They'll be hauling vital supplies, helping restore communications networks in disaster zones. Real world impact. Absolutely. It highlights just how crucial advanced drones can be in emergencies. Really solidifies Dragonfly's position in that industrial, even humanitarian space. Okay, last one for today. Pyrogenesis, PYR, on the TSX. They've secured their commercial titanium powder contract in Europe. Big step for their 3D printing materials. Seems like a strategic move into that European additive manufacturing scene. It absolutely is. A significant commercial milestone. They're selling TIE 64 coarse cut titanium powder. And the key here is it's produced using their patented Next Gen Plasma Atomization Tech. Next Gen, what's special about that? It's an advanced process. Yeah. It produces exceptionally pure, very uniform titanium powder. That kind of quality is essential for demanding sectors like aerospace, maybe medical 3D printing. And importantly, this tech, this powder, has already been validated by a global aerospace giant, so it has credibility. Got it. And they're stepping into a European metal 3D printing market that's expected to exceed $11 billion USD by 2030. So real commercial traction. Okay, so let's wrap this rapid dive. We've covered a lot of ground. FTI food tech, pivoting to grooming, long core finding a high grade gold deep down, HPQ launching advanced batteries, Dragonfly drones for emergencies, and Pyrogenesis entering Europe's 3D printing market. 
It really shows how these innovative, smaller companies are making potentially disruptive moves. Different sectors, but similar stories of strategic growth. Right, and I think for you, the listener, it really brings up an important question. In this fast-paced world, how might these breakthroughs, these seemingly niche innovations from these small caps, mm -hmm. how might they ultimately reshape the bigger industries they operate in? And maybe, just maybe, impact our daily lives in ways we don't even see coming yet.